welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this deco mesh Easter wreath using all items from the Dollar Tree. Um, in the video, I do make a mistake, and I will tell you that right now, that I told you to use two rolls of the wire edged ribbon. In actuality, I used four rolls. I'm so sorry that I made that mistake, but I stated at kind of towards the end of the video, and I'm going to tell you now that you do need four rolls of wired ribbon. So stay tuned and I will show you how to make this wreath. Alrighty, let us get started. Um, like I said in a previous video, um, I'm in pain today because of a tooth problem that I'm having. So I'm going to try to, to talk normally here, but just bear with me because um, I'm hurting right now. So what you're going to need to make this wreath is, of course, a wreath form from the Dollar Tree. This is a 14 inch form. You're also going to need six rolls of the deco mesh. I got two in purple, two in pink, and two in blue. <clears throat> Excuse me. You're going to need a pack of Chanel stems. You're going to need some ribbon. Now for this one, I'm going to be using two rolls of this wired ribbon and the Easter egg print and like this crisscross um, multicolored. Because see, my, my mesh is a solid color and I wanted to use a ribbon that would be like a contrasting color so that, you know, wouldn't blend in as much. And I think the white you know, will stand out nicely against the darker, the, uh, the solid colors. And you're also going to need something to decorate the wreath with. Now, you do not have to do this. This is optional, but I'm going to use some of these uh, styrofoam eggs. I got two packs of these egg picks. I'm just going to take the, the sticks off and use the eggs. <clears throat> so, you're also going to need a pair of scissors, of course. <laughs> so, I'm going to cut the tag off of my wreath here, and I'm going to lay that to the side just for the time being. Now, the way that I like to make my wreaths is I make what I like to call clusters. Okay, I make little clusters of my ribbon and then I put it all onto the wreath. I don't, you might see some people putting the, uh, the pipe cleaner, Chanel stems, whatever, putting it on the wreath first. I don't like doing that. I like making clusters and then attaching it. And when I do that, I'm only gonna be using these two inner rings here. Now, if you want a bigger, fuller wreath, of course, you would do these two and then these two, okay? And that would make it really full and fluffy. But for me, you know, I like mine, you know, on the smaller side. So I'm just gonna be using these, these two inner ones here, okay? So now with my deco mesh, what I'm gonna do is, when you unroll it, you'll see how it starts to roll back up on itself, right? That starts rolling back up. And this is gonna help you. So you want the mesh to just sort of roll in on itself one good time, like that. And then you're going to cut it. Just straight across. And now you see you have, you have a curl. See how it curls in on itself? Just like that. I'm going to be making bundles of these little curls, one of each color, and then I'm going to add in a piece of ribbon, okay? So let's take that piece there, and you don't have to measure this. There's no measuring here, and you don't have to be precise, because the wreath is going to be so full, you're not going to be able to see any mistakes that you may make. You just want to try to cut your lines, you know, try to cut your edges here, you know, fairly straight. But don't worry if it's perfect or not. Because this, this type of wreath is very, very forgiving. It's very forgiving. And as long as your mesh, your little pieces here, as long as they can curl in on itself, just one time like that, you're going to be fine. See how you made tight, like a little tube? That's all that you're looking for. Here's your piece. Just let it roll just to make a tube. Just like that. Okay. Now I'm going to take my ribbon. And I'm going to measure it against my roll here, long ways like this. And I want to cut my ribbon just a tiny, tiny little bit longer than my tube here. J just a tiny bit, you know, not a lot. Just a tiny bit. Now, what I'm going to do to make my clusters is I'm going to use one of each of my colors of this and a piece of ribbon. I'm going to cut my ribbon at a V. You don't have to if you don't want to. It's just the look that I like. Just cut a little V out of your ribbon. Just like this. Okay, now we're going to take our pipe cleaner and we're going to put our bundle together. 
So roll this together just like that and hold it between your fingers. Roll your next color into a little tube. Stick it between your fingers. Roll the next one into a tube. See how we're holding it like this? And I'll take your ribbon and cram that in there too, just like that. This is gonna make our bundle. Take your pipe cleaner, like that. Kind of find a halfway mark. It doesn't have to be perfect. And now you're just gonna make a little bundle just like that. You kind of want your, your mesh edges to kind of line up together so that they're sort of, you know, sort of even. Then just give your pipe cleaner a couple good twists and you see you've made a little bundle. Just like that. Now these little bundles is what you're going to attach to your wreath form. Like I said, I'm just using these inner two here. Now when you're attaching these, you don't want your ribbons to go side to side like this, okay? Because then that's going to make your wreath look really, <laughs> really weird and skinny and flat. No, you want to turn them like this, okay? So that the, the outer edges of the long pieces of your deco mesh are sticking outward like this. That's going to give you the full look like that, okay? Not like this, like this. Just bend these a little and just take your pipe cleaner, wrap it around the two center wires of your form, flip it over, and then just give it a good twist, a really good twist just to attach it. Now later on you can go back and trim the edges of these, okay? I like to put all of my bundles on first and then come back and trim my ribbon. Now right now See how you can see my pipe cleaner a little bit? It's okay. It's not going to look like that once you get all of your bundles put on, okay? Because they're going to be squished together, and it's going to be really full, and it's going to look a lot better. It's going to look kind of raggedy. <laughs> uh, I won't lie. It's going to look a little on the raggedy side, you know, until you get pretty much like halfway done. And then it's all going to start compressing together. It's all going to start looking a lot better, okay? So I'm going to do one more bundle with y'all, and I'm going to alternate my ribbon. Like the first one I did with the eggs, this next one I'm going to do with this one. So I will do one more bundle with y'all, and then I'm going to turn you loose and let you do your own. And I'll do mine, and then I'll come back and I'll show you what I have after I get a few more put on. So remember, just let it roll in on itself one good time. And you may not use all six rolls of your mesh. You may not. I usually do. Like I said, you know, I like mine to be on the full side, so I try to cram as much stuff on there as I can. But you may not. You know, you may not use all of yours. If you have a rotary cutter, which I have one, but I don't like um, leaving it out, you know, where the kids can get a hold of it. So I keep it well hidden and I just, I'm not feeling so great today. So I just didn't feel like getting it out. <laughs> but if you have a rotary cutter and a cutting mat, you can lay your mesh down in layers and you can, you can cut so much faster than just using a pair of scissors. But most people don't have one of those. So that's why, you know, I'm, I'm using things right now that, you know, everybody may have. Let me get my pipe cleaner here. Just kind of bend it in half. Okay, now remember, just let it roll in on itself. Hold it. Roll it into a little tube. This stuff can be tricky to work with. It likes to stick to itself, you know. The, um, the raw edges like to stick to itself. So just work with it. You'll get it. Roll this one into a tube and hold it. Ribbon and hold it. Now put it together with the pipe cleaner. Try to make sure everybody is fairly even. Pull your pipe cleaner tight and then give it a good twist. Just like that. There's our next little bundle. Now I'm going to put it on my wreath. Let's just slide this over to the end here. Okay. Put that on just like that flip it over and then tighten it up just like that 
see it's starting to look fuller and it will look better like I said as as you work around it's going to look better believe me it will look better now, if you want more of your ribbon showing, see how mine just kind of shows a little bit in the middle? If you want more of your ribbon showing, just cut it longer than I did. Cut it longer than your pieces of deco mesh. And you can always just go back with your fingers because the ribbon sometimes will kind of fold in on itself. Just go back with your fingers and straighten it out. Like I said, this thing's going to look like a hot mess until you get everything on there. And then you go back and you fluff it out and you make it look the way you want it to. So... That's the way I do mine. So you work on yours and I'm going to pause the video here and I'm going to keep working on this one until I can get like a full section done and then I will show you how it looks like after that. Hey y'all, okay, I'm back and I'm, I'm going to make another correction here. I've already said this at the very beginning of the video, but I want to say it again just in case you missed it. Okay, I know that I said earlier to use two spools of this wired ribbon and honestly, now that I look at it, that's just not going to be enough. And, you know, I miscalculated the yardage. Um, I'm used to using Walmart or Hobby Lobby ribbon. And a lot of their wired ribbon has a lot more than three yards per spool. And, you know, I just had that number in my head. But um, the Dollar Tree ribbon is only three yards. So for this wreath, once again, depending on how tightly you pack your bundles, you might use more or less ribbon than me. I use 10 bundles per section of wreath. See these little sections? I use 10 bundles. And so two spools are just not going to be enough. I would suggest getting four to six spools, okay? Just to make sure that you have enough. It's better to have too much than not enough. Okay, so I apologize for making that mistake. Like I said, I'm not feeling that well today and it just, I had Walmart ribbon in my head, you know? <laughs> so I'm, I'm really sorry about that. But um, as you can see here, I went ahead and I attached an Easter egg. And this is the pipe cleaner that the Easter egg is attached with. And I want to show you how I attach mine. Now, you can use this method for you know, any type of decoration that you want to attach to a wreath. But it's really easy if your item is made out of styrofoam like these eggs. So first, we're going to take an egg. I think I want to do a yellow one next. Okay, so I'm just going to take it off of this stick. And there we are. Now let's get a pipe cleaner. I call them pipe cleaners. I mean, politically correct. Let's call them Chanel stems, but I still call them pipe cleaners. And bend it in half. Then you can take your pair of scissors or this stick or, you know, whatever you have. Find the section of the egg that you want to be on the back. I think I want this to be on the back. And then just drive a hole into it. Just like that. Not, not a deep one. You just make a hole in it. And then you need a low temp glue gun because this is styrofoam. You're going to be using a low temp glue gun. Just put a big blob of glue on the end of your pipe cleaner. And just shove it into that space that you just made. Just like that. I like to go back around and put just a little extra glue around it. You're not going to see this. So, you know, this, this part can be a little messy. You're not going to see it. Now let this glue set up. Okay, and now you have something to hold your egg on. And you can take it, like I said, we're working on the two inner rings here. Just take it, run it through those rings, and then just twist the back, just like you've been doing your ribbon and deco mesh bundles. You know, where just place it wherever you want, and then just twist the back. Okay? And that's how I attach my eggs. So, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope, you know, <laughs> my mistake didn't, didn't thwart you from, from making one. So if you would, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, check me out on my other forms of social media. I have the links to all of those in the description box down below. And I look forward to seeing y'all next time. Bye-bye.